We're joined by Saints center Eric McCoy entering his third season now. So, Eric, how's things going since your rookie year to now? You, you're not the vet on the offensive <laughs> line, but you've been there and you've gotten a lot of snaps now. Yeah, I'm definitely far from the vet. You know, <laughs> I always got to rag on Teron, call him the old man. Um, but man, it feels good. You know, we've got a, a nice hold on the offense. Um, I mean, especially with Drew kind of, well, not kind of, Drew being retired now, I've had to pick up a little bit of slack. I've had to learn a little bit more and I feel like it's helped my progression even more coming into this camp. Yeah, I was about to ask you that about your responsibilities and how much they've enhanced. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling comfortable with, you know, the line calls and those kinds of things mm -hmm. that you know, generally go along with your position? Yeah, yeah. So. Um, I would definitely say that I had a really nice and easy life my first two <laughs> years here. Um, I've had to do a lot more studying just to prepare just for everyday practice out here. But I would say that I feel more than prepared. You know, Nuge and Street have done a good job getting me coached up on the mic points, on the line slides. Um, I'm, I'm really confident. You know, I don't know if we ever asked you this, but you know, were you nervous coming in with a quarterback like Drew Brees as a rookie coming in and starting at center? Dang right. <laughs> I'm going to be straight up about it. Uh, you know, coming in and playing with the best quarterback of all time, it's it's a little nerve-wracking, um, especially when you're just trying to figure it out as you go. Um, man, yeah, it was very nerve-wracking. But like I said, best QB best of all time. So Now, the offensive line, obviously one of the more veteran units on this team. Uh, only Cesar Ruiz is the second-year starter, but everybody else from you on up, three years plus. Mm -hmm. uh, how much more cohesion is there within the line now? I would say there's a ton. Um, you know, it's guys have played together for so long now. The left side, they've been together for five, six years. Right side, they have a year under their belt together. Um, so I'd say the cohesion is nice. We're, uh, we're rolling, we're like, you know, smooth little jail. You know, when you look at this offense and everybody says, okay, not only are you missing Drew Brees, but Emmanuel Butler, uh, not, uh, excuse me, Emmanuel <laughs> Sanders, not here. Um, also, uh, Michael Thomas not gonna be here for a couple mm -hmm. of games. You know, just how explosive can this offense be? Yeah, I would say that we can be just as explosive, explosive as we have been. Um, you know, we have all the talent. We have quarterbacks that are working their tails off right now. We have receivers that are out there routing people up, as y'all saw today. Um, and, you know, we can rely on the run game. Like you said, we have a veteran offensive line. Um, I feel like that's going to be a strength of ours. How's married life? Oh, I love it. My <laughs> wife, shout out my wife, Bianca Monique McCoy. She's great. Love her to death. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, well, it's happy wife, happy life, happy life, happy wife, whatever it is. But, you know, you make sure you shout the wife out. <laughs> now, Eric, uh, you got a center, but we saw you get out on a screen last year to Alvin. <laughs> and that, on that touchdown against Green Bay, what goes into that for an offensive lineman? Because a lot of guys don't have that kind of movement and that kind of speed, especially at center. Mm -hmm. Well, believe it or not, it actually wasn't a screen. It was a broken down play that we just kind of figured out. Um, and we know all <laughs> the type of skill that Alvin has. We know that he's an elusive back that can break tackles. Um, you know, I just saw an opportunity to get out and run. So that's what I did. There wasn't much thought behind it. It's just run and go try to hit something. You know, I don't know how you judge these things, but do you consider yourself to be one of the more athletic offensive linemen, one of the more athletic centers in the league? Oh gosh. Um, I mean, I'm gonna definitely say I'm the most athletic on the line. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's Ron. Um, but no, I don't I don't really uh, get in those types of debates. Let's switch Ron. So, um, you know, there's a lot of athletic centers in the league. A lot of guys that can move, that can get out in space. Um, I would like to think of myself as kind of up there, but I'm not gonna toot my own horn that much, so. Well, Eric, how good can you be? What's your ceiling? My ceiling? That's a great question. Um, I can tell you what I want to be, um, which is probably what everybody saw, is I want to be the best center in the league. Um, it's plain and simple. Well, that's a good question. That's what I'm here for. That's <laughs> Eric McCoy. <laughs> that's our one-on-one -on -one here for CST for the Saints training camp show. And we'll be back in a moment.